Oh, there we go. There we go. Unmuted. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Stokes. It is Wednesday, October 23rd, and I'm really excited. The Morpheus dashboard just did an update, and I figured it's a great time to do a little video to show how you can earn Morpheus tokens. If you've got Ethereum and you stake it with Lido, you can take your STE and you can stake it with Morpheus. Really cool stuff. But before we get into that, quick shout out. Dirty Coin, the movie, my friend Alana here in Puerto Rico has created an amazing documentary on Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin energy, how that all works, why it's important. I've seen pre-screening of the movie. It's amazing. It goes live literally in like a week, October 31st of 2024. The movie goes live in theaters. Hopefully it's in a city near you. If not, please go ask your theaters to make it happen or go ahead and set up a local screening with your Bitcoin meetup. Alana is amazing. The team is amazing. It's an incredible documentary. I really think it's going to be an important conversation in this next bull run. So check out Dirty Coin, the movie. Had to give a little plug and shout out to them. All right, let's get started. I'm going to be sharing the desktop here. And there we go. All right. So we're going to start here, more.org. Actually, before we even get to more.org, I want to highlight more Lord. .com. Morelord.com is where you can kind of see the tokenomics of what's going on in the ecosystem. You can actually track your own accounts. You can transfer the more token between different chains, between Base, Arbitrum, Ethereum. Uh, a lot of cool stuff. You can look at the capital contributors, the code contributors. There's even an API if you want to pull this data and use it in an application. But the main thing I want to point out here is that if you take your Ethereum and you stake it with Lido, you're going to get about 3%. If you take that STE and instead of holding it in your wallet and earning that 3% and you restake it with Morpheus, you earn 13%. That's a four and a half X multiplier, which is pretty awesome. Now, on top of that, if you take your rewards and you stake them, basically saying you want a longer time preference, that changes your rewards as well. So you can even earn more rewards if you stake for months or years, pretty cool stuff. So what I'm going to show you today is how that works. Go to more.org. Click on dashboards, and you see here the capital dashboard, deposit, stake, and claim. We pop that open, and we're going to go ahead and log in. I've actually already logged in here to this dashboard using my MetaMask account. And you can see here, I don't have any Ethereum. I don't have any STETH uh, that I could stake. I'm going to copy that address, though, because we're going to use it in a second. And so what I could do, you know, how to receive STETH, I could pop this open and this is the staking on Lido. I could take my Ethereum, connect my wallet, take my Ethereum, stake it. For every Ethereum I stake, I get an STETH. Once I do that whole process and I come back here, I'll have STETH that I can deposit. But instead of doing that, I want to show you something else. Nounspace.com is what's called a More 20 project. They're part of the Morpheus ecosystem. So Nounspace has actually... Uh, was one of the, actually the first, other than Morpheus, the first project to use the More20 tokenomic system, which is really exciting. If you're launching a token or know anyone that's launching a token, definitely look into the More20 fair launch. It's phenomenal. And as you can see here, I've already deposited, deposited some Ethereum into this system. So I got to switch my wallet real quick. I have some SDETH uh, kind of from the very beginning of the Nounspace launch that I put into this system. And so you can see here, I haven't claimed my space yet. We're going to do that now. And we're, I'm going to withdraw a little bit of the, my STETH from this More20 project so that I can use it over on the Morpheus project. So first, we're going to go ahead and claim. Uh, let's see, where do I want to claim? That's a good question. I'm going to go ahead and just claim to the same address. See if that'll work. So this is a little bit of a side tangent. We're going to be playing around with uh, another More20 system. But I just want to kind of show how this works. And then we got to do a little ledger stuff here. I definitely recommend using a hardware wallet for all of this, because especially if you're going to be uh, staking your stuff long term, you really have no idea how long uh, and what it's going to be worth in the future. So I'm waiting for this to pop up on my ledger. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. Review transaction and boom. So we go ahead and send that. You can see it show up here. If you want, you can check it out on the Block Explorer. Just kind of get a view for how long it's going to take. Actually, let's close that out. Let's try again. And, oh, let's try this. Oh, there we go. Success. All right. 
So I've claimed my space. That's pretty cool. Actually, we can show this also, which is kind of neat. I haven't even seen this. If I refresh this, I wonder if I'm going to be listed as someone who can have, because it says here, if you have daily tip allowance, hold. So I do have a nog, but oh, I think I have it on a different address. Anyway, I'll mess with Nounspace later. Nounspace, super cool. Check it out. Pretty awesome. But the main thing I wanted to do is again, withdraw some of that SDE that I have. And you can see I'm already earning new space tokens, which is pretty cool. All right. We're going to withdraw this SDE to a different address so that I can go ahead and stake it. All right, cool. I'm going to go over here, do, do, do. grab this guy. Cool. And we're going to withdraw, let's see, let's do one, one Ethereum. So I'm going to draw one STE. That's going to pop up. And again, we got to do the whole MetaMask dealio. So I'm going to read, receive one STE, a little bit of a fee there. All good. Confirm it in the wallet. All right. Once that confirms. All right. It's a nice new MetaFace interface, MetaMask interface. So I can pop it open, take a look at it, see how long it's going to take to uh, confirm the transaction. And there we go. Transaction's done. Pretty cool. All right. Close that guy down. Pretty neat. All right. So now we got 4.8. We got a little bit less. But now what I want to do is go ahead and transfer that one STE to another wallet so we can stake it over on the dashboard. So I'm going to copy this address because that's the address I want to move it over to. Come back to here. We're going to send. See, so it got my balance of one, which is great. That's what I'm looking for. And we're going to send to this address. So there we go. So we're sending one STE to this address here. Go ahead and continue. Review that transaction in my ledger. Do, 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 do. It's being sent. And we could actually take a look at this on Etherscan if we wanted to. Nine seconds ago. So that just finished. That's cool. Go back into our Morpheus dashboard. And reload here. Let's see what we get. All right. So I can deposit ETH, but not shown actually. Oh yeah, we got to connect to a different wallet here. So let's connect to the wallet. Actually, while I'm here, I'm going to show you the new. So this is my main wallet. You can see I've got a bunch of Ethereum staked. I'm earning Morpheus and I've locked it for literally six years. So I got a 10.7 multiplier on my rewards because I'm not going to see these rewards until 2020, 2030. Yeah, 2030. Um, you can also see the amount of deposited STE per month. Uh, there's a little bug here. We're not showing all the, the months, but I just uh, let them know about that this morning. So they're going to fix that soon, but it's pretty awesome here that you can actually see how many people, how much Ethereum is staked to the contract. Um, what am I earning, you know, on my staked Ethereum in Morpheus terms. Pretty exciting stuff. As you can see, the current daily reward is listed here every single day. 3,000 Morpheus are given out pro rata to the people who have staked their Ethereum. And the total deposits right now is over 65,000 Ethereum, which is pretty amazing. Um, important to note, you can only claim every 90 days. So all the different yield farmers that don't care about this project at all and just want to like go through the process of kind of earning that, you know, 13% we talked about right here. Uh, they're basically not going to be rewarded as much as those who are committed to the project and who actually can stake their rewards for a longer period of time. So pretty excited about how this works. And let's go ahead and get going here. I got to switch to a different wallet and make sure that I can 
now stake that one Ethereum that we, that STE that we just moved over. So we're gonna click to this wallet. Boom, there we go, perfect. We just switched over. And let's see if this is the right wallet here. Okay. And make sure that that worked. Yep, so that did that, it moved over here. So I should have that token listed here. Still shows zero, but let's go ahead and try to deposit anyway, see what happens. Huh. All right, let's try refresh the page. There we go. Now it shows that we got a little bit of SDE, a little rounding error there, but no big deal. Go ahead and deposit. Uh, we're going to max this out and lock your claim. So this is cool. This is where you get that power factor. This is where you decide like, okay, I can make a little bit of Morpheus tokens, or if I'm willing to lock it for a year, two years, six years, the max uh, you can do as far as the return you're going to get is six years. But there is something important. I want to talk about that is that if you lock even longer than six years, you actually get and it's a little complicated to explain, but basically the way the bonding curve works, like the distribution, you know how Bitcoin is released uh, every four years there's a happening of Bitcoin, right? So the inflation rate of Bitcoin goes down. Fewer and fewer Bitcoin are released every four years because of the happening. Well, with Morpheus, fewer and fewer Morpheus tokens are released every single day. So what that means is when you lock in your rewards, you're locked in at the current distribution rate. So if you lock in, let's say seven years, eight years, even further than the six years, which is your max 10.7 uh, multiplier, you're actually going to be locked in at a better curve. Meaning if someone else locks in later, let's say five years from now, six years from now, or even you know after they do their six years, they're like, oh, I'm going to lock in again. And they lock in for a new time period. They're going to be on the new distribution curve. So essentially they're going to be getting, earning few more, few, fewer Morpheus tokens because fewer Morpheus tokens are released every single day. So it's kind of an interesting thing to think about. So let's go ahead here. Let's get crazy with it. I'm going to go ahead and lock to, let's say, 2030. Why not? So we're going to lock it until October 1st, 2030. It's like a nice little lock there. I'm going to get a 10.4 multiplier, which is pretty awesome. We're going to approve that in the wallet. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, so you have to actually uh, decide, you know, I'm going to only, so this is important. You guys most probably know this, but whenever time you interact with a new token with uh, MetaMask, you have to kind of give that application approval to access your wallet. So what I generally recommend is instead of just doing unlimited, set it to the max of what you have or set it to the amount that you're going to be transacting with. That way they don't have kind of an outstanding permission to kind of send your, send your tokens around. Oh my, I got to log into my MetaMask here. Or my ledger. There we go. Let's try again. Do, do, do. Yeah, my ledger timed out, so I wasn't logged in. Here we go. And again, that's like an unlimited amount, but I'd rather just set it to that. Now you do have to pay those fees, um, but you know, for the security of knowing they can't mess with your tokens in case the site got hacked or something like that, I recommend just limiting it to the amount you're actually going to transact. Here we go. I'm going to wait for that to complete. And once that completes, it should pop up. All right, there we go. And there we go. It's popping up now to do the actual deposit. And again, I am staking these rewards for almost six years. I'm going to sign that in my ledger. Boom. Done. All right. Very interesting, this new new experience with the MetaMask. I haven't seen that before. So instead of popping out to EtherScan, they're promoting their own brand. <laughs> Makes sense. All right, transaction complete. There we go. Back to the dashboard. And now we there we go, your deposit. So I am now part of the system. Let me go and refresh and see if that's going to update at all. Probably not. With only one Ethereum, 
the amount I'm uh, going to be earning every single day is pretty low. But again, back to this factor here, I could buy it out on the market or I could stick my Ethereum and earn 13% on it. Now, this is the 4.5 multiplier on just standard Lido staking. But on top of that, I get this 10x multiplier. So pretty exciting. Actually, let's go ahead and check out something else here. So now that that's staked, copy that address. I'm going to head over to More Lord. And if I check an address here, let's see what it says. There you go. So now we're locked until we've got some capital rewards that are 10x and locked until 10, 1, 20, 30, which is what we did. So we're earning 0.781 Morpheus a day. So let's see what that's kind of randomly about. Pull up the calculator. Do, 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 do. Let's just assume 20 bucks a token. So you're getting about dollar 50 a day dollar 50 a day times we'll just call it six times 365 that's pretty awesome that would be the whole six year amount in us dollar terms uh assuming a 20 dollar token so i also got some code rewards here i'll probably do that in another video at some point where i've been uh trying to help out with the ecosystem if you notice here that there's a code reward system you can register as a developer. You can be adding value to the project. Um, we just went over the capital bucket, but there's also the builder's bucket, the code bucket, and the compute bucket. Compute and build are going live very soon. Compute testnet is live now. Awesome, awesome stuff. Let's stop the share here. Hopefully that all made sense. I covered a lot of stuff. You can feel free to pause in the video or just check out the Morpheus documentation. There's a ton of documentation over on GitHub and explains all this stuff in great detail. But again, I just think these videos are fun because they kind of put it, make it a little more real, you know? So now you can actually see it, watch somebody go through it. You watch me not only, you know, interact with the noun space, which is another more 20 project, but also transfer a token. I took my STETH and moved it over. And then I took my STETH and I deposited it on the more capital dashboard. So pretty cool stuff. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, until next time, talk to you later.